you love it? Yeah, I do. That's so cool. Hi everyone. Um, for today's video, we are doing a charity event, but unfortunately we were playing music very loud at this event, so I can't post the audio because of copyright, but at least I can at least narrate over it so I can let you know what's going on. So this was for Relay for Life Wellington, and what they are is they do uh, fundraising for cancer and cancer research and cancer support and all those things. And normally they do relay, like running or, you know, physical activity. They don't normally do haircut events, but we did a haircut event for them anyway. Um, and the girls who organized it, Kate, Liz, and Sarah, did a phenomenal job. And the people over there at uh, Relay for Life are, you know, really supportive of the event as well. So the concept of this was there's a baton. Normally when you do a relay, you have a baton, you hand it over the next one, you hand over the next one, and they run or whatever. But we weren't running, so what they did was they gave you the baton, and you sat down, and you got your haircut. And then handed it to the next person, sat down, got a haircut. And then handed over to the next person, sat down, got a haircut. And then some of them sat down multiple times, so they got more than one haircut. So the first haircut, then handed someone, they got their first, and then so on. And then another person, and then um, sat down and got a second haircut. So there's a whole bunch of haircutting that, go that went on in this evening. And we had a lot of fun as well. Um, so this is Sarah, who went first. And she's got nice long hair. And this was her first haircut, and everyone, you know, we said, what did you think she should do? And they're all yelling out, like a bowl cut or, a, you know, um, different things like mohawk or whatever. And we decided on a the, the, uh, mushroom haircut or basically a wedge haircut, but a mushroom haircut. So here she is going first. And for as charities goes, this is the first time I've done this, like a relay thing. So it was a lot of work for me because, you know, one person after another after another for a couple of hours there. But it was a lot of fun. The concept was good. Never seen anything like this before, like pass, hand over the baton, and haircut, hand over the baton, haircut. So it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I will be speeding this up because it's a lot of, it's a couple of hours of uh, footage here. So we'll condense it down to about 20 minutes. And that girl there with the short hair, I didn't catch her name, but she was so entertaining that night. Um, a lot of laughs all around. And here we go, we start with a fringe. It's kind of been a theme on this channel. There's a few reasons why I start with a fringe. One, the person can see the first snip. Two, because if you don't cut a fringe in the beginning, if you're like, if you do a haircut and you save the fringe for last, the hairline will start to lift. Like if it's been combed back, and then, you know, towards the end of the haircut, if you comb it forward and start to do a fringe, the fringe isn't going to sit flat. So, it's so much easier to cut a fringe first so that it sits flat throughout the haircut so when you get to the styling part of it, you're not fighting um, volume. And a lot of like new fridges don't want to sit flat anyway. So that's a good reason for that. Um, but in this scenario, because I'm going to be doing a ridiculous mushroom blow dry anyway, so it's going to be all volume anyway. But in general, um, like if someone's getting a bob and with a fringe for the first time, I would cut the fringe first and then work on the bob second. That way when you go around to the styling and then the fringe has been sitting flat through the duration of the whole haircut, you're not fighting to make it flat. Worst case scenario is you're doing a haircut and someone says that towards the end of it, I'd like a fringe and it's the, the front's been sitting back for the, the haircut. Then you push it forward, you cut it, it's, it's going to be harder to make it flat. Um, here we are speeding up and there's that mushroom shape. So this one is like a shorter wedge because um, of dramatic effect. We want lots of drama um, and taken up a little bit in the back as well. And then mousse. And there's the blow dry and there's the mushroom shape. Perfect haircut for a charity event. But she's not keeping it. This is just uh, for, you know, photos and whatnot.
And this point, she's calling her family. <laughs> so, what do you think of my new hair? They're like, we love it. You know, they don't realize that they think this is actually the haircut she's going to keep. But yeah, she had a blast with this. She really had a blast with this. And it's only temporary. It's only going to be for about 25 minutes until she sits in the chair again. And the next girl is Liz. And same thing, what should we do in the, um, you know, should we do the same haircut, everyone gets a mushroom, but then, or a bowl cut or whatever. Um, and she was kind of saying the same thing, but then change of mind came up and a bowl cut. I think we decided on a bowl cut. Just so we have a different uh, variety of things. But anyhow, she's going to be short hair at the end of the day anyway, so it really didn't matter what haircut she did. Yeah, here we are looking at some ideas for her, for her first haircut. Because of course we want drama. And those pictures there, those are actually pictures we've used on this channel. You know, there's quite a pile of them now, because I don't know how many videos we are, probably close to 200 now. But every time I print a picture for one of the videos, I keep them on that pile. Yeah, we're still kind of deciding, but it's fun when others have a say too. Other people can determine your haircut, determine your fate. And the pink cape. I've seen some, some of the comments people like different capes. Unfortunately, capes are very hard to find in New Zealand. We don't get a lot of the stuff around the world here. And I had to look around. Like, I would buy, you know, if I was in North America, I'd probably buy like 30 different capes, use a different one every time. But our local suppliers don't really have much. And as far as world shipping at the moment, it's not very good. So I'll get more capes, but it's the sort of thing hard to find in New Zealand. And this is the magic where people seem to disappear in that corner and come back with wet hair. <laughs> and I haven't been showing shampoo videos, but, you know, it takes more time. I'm not a shampoo video. We're just retro haircuts. And there's that bowl shape. So if anyone watching these videos, if they want to support this channel in some way, I think charity is a good thing. Like, I don't ask for anything from anybody. It is monetized. It does break spring in some money. And what I do with that money is I just pay it forward to the models. So the models that have been on the channel have been getting money for the videos. Um, so the channel doesn't actually make any money. But if you want to support the channel in some way, why not get to um, this, you know, I'll post the link. It's leave it up on the video permanently through it. Um, if you want to make a donation to Relay for Life to help these girls, that would be helpful. So I like it when people help in that way. It's like, you know, I like to pay it forward. Um, these girls did really well for this charity event. So if you want to support them, you can support my channel by supporting them. And the links in the th comments below or in the description below or in the corner. I'm going to leave the link to the um, to their uh, fundraiser as well. And the blow dry, mousse and hairspray. I actually like this haircut on her. And the other girl, the one with the mushroom. Like As the evening was going on, the more you look over at her, you can see her in the background. The more I was like, starting to like that haircut. And we're trying to do drama, but you know what? They end up looking cool. So it kind of works on her. And then this is the husband of Kate. I didn't get his name. But... We gave him an arrow on top of his head for his first one. It was hard to see on this angle, but 
It's kind of like a mohawk down the back with the... We can kind of see it there. It was an arrow. It's just temporary as well, because it's going to go right down to the wood, but... Yep, again, having fun with people's head for charity. And here's cake. And same thing, we didn't know what we were going to do. <laughs> Different ideas. And there's the baton. Everyone, you know, they've been handing the baton to people. And then when, you get the, when you're handed the baton, you sit down and get a haircut. And if you don't want a haircut, don't take the baton. If you take the baton, you're going to get a haircut. And we decided on Joe Dirt. Kate's actually from Chicago. So we thought it would be cool to do like an American Joe Dirt. And the other girl, Sarah, the first one with the mushroom cut, she's um she's from the Carolinas too, so another couple of Americans in New Zealand. And there's the Joe Dirt. Dirty. Dirty mullet. Rocking it. And you notice she handed the baton back to Sarah. And that means Sarah has to get a haircut next. Yep, and there she is, sits down. So if you take the baton, you're getting a haircut. And she, yep, there it goes. So we end up doing a 3 two, one Three on the top, two on the sides, one on the hairline. And you can see it looks amazing on her. She ended up loving it. And let's get rid of the arrow. So he took the baton. There's his next one. And she took the baton again. Now she didn't want to shave hers because she's shaved it for charity in the past. But she was cool to go super short. Um, she just doesn't like the time it takes to grow it between a shaved head and a pixie. But she does like short hair. And the long hair she had coming in, that was, you know, the hair, you know, she'd shaved it and it's grown back to that length. So one of those cool girls that will grow her hair long and then do a charity event and grow it long and do a charity event. But she's kind of over the shaved heads. So she likes that better. And that was cool. I think the texture and everything looks good too. I kind of agree because I'd rather do cool haircuts for charity than do clipper cuts for charity because I just like to show my work. So there's a chance for her to just leave with a cool haircut. Now, this was the three girls that were doing it for the charity. Oh, yeah. Then this is a get rid of the Joe Dirt. So there were three volunteers for the charity, plus the husband, that's four. And then all the spectators watching, they weren't signed up for the haircuts or anything like that. So we got rid of the Joe Dirt. And at this point, we did a 3 two, one as well. She made the comment, is, is that short enough, considering I raised like $3,000? And then we said, no, it's not short enough. So we went down to a number one all over. Just a bigger, bigger impact. And since her husband was at a zero, we thought, oh, we'll get you to number one. So you're like a little bit closer to him. Yep, and those were all the ones who were volunteered for the charity event. So at this point, we said, anyone want a haircut? Like from the people that were watching. Um to see if anyone, you know, nobody had to, but we just put it out there. And there's a few people nervously looking at the chair. But when you're watching things like that, you you know, you get into the excitement of it. So the blonde girl there, you can see her thinking about it. It's like, if you take the baton, you're going to get a haircut. And yeah. And there's the baton. So she's going to get a haircut. She's super scared. And this is the thing about hair cutting, it's so very personal. Someone can shave their head and not even flinch. Someone can get a trim and freak out. So, you can see how much I'm proposing to cut, and that is scaring her. But, she wants to do something, so we'll do something cool. So you see how much we're cutting, and she's more scared than someone else who's about to shave their head. 
But that's why haircutting is so personal to each and every individual. But I won't do it until she's ready. Yep, there she goes. Just do it. But you see already, that looks cool. That looks real good on her. And she's still kind of freaking out. <laughs> and the other girl, yeah, that's um, that's the girl. She was so entertaining all night long. So she took the hair and ended up making a wig out of it that night for herself. And you can see there she's... Anyhow, same thing, my usual. I like starting in the front. Even with these um, shag haircuts that are popular. Just take it from the front, work your way back. And then connect the back. At this point, connect them back into it. There's, um, you know, tons of different ways of approaching a haircut. And this haircut's quite popular lately because everyone likes retro at the moment. They like 70s, still like long hair. So this is a good long hair retro haircut. And I didn't want to blow dry it because um, I didn't want to do all that crazy volume for her. She's a cool girl. Um, but I think that was a big enough change. So we just did a natural dry with it. But you'll see the finished results soon. And then the photographer, you see her in the background. She's um, she, did a f she did an amazing job doing the photography for the evening. So it only makes sense. Would you like a haircut for the work you did? And then she was freaking out even more. Like she's the kind of girl who just has super long hair, never do, never does a haircut, just does a trim. But you know, you did such a great job on the photography for this event. Let's do something with your hair. And same thing, she's freaking out. <laughs> but it's good to do a change. So. And yeah, these last two girls, they probably never would have asked. For this haircut they probably just would have kept really long still long hair but it's a good change for the both of them and this time I started in the back because the front was just going to be a like minor shaping so don't always start in the front all depends what you're doing and this is the follow-up didn't want to do too much with their, their styling I just wanted to have her just have a natural bull dry but you can see how that hair is falling into shape and here we are with the follow-ups yeah that's a lot shorter and a lot of shrinkage and whatnot but that is real cool and she's um you can tell she loves it she never would have asked for that, but I'm glad we did it because, you know, the theme on the channel. We like to put people outside their box and then put them back in a new box. They both look awesome. Here's some after photos. Make sure you tell about these girls. They did such a phenomenal job and they look amazing, very daring and bold. And if you want to help them out, I have the link below. I have the link in the corner. You can go to their relay page and uh, give a donation. And remember, if you're in the United States because of exchange rates, if you give 20, it's going to exchange to New Zealand dollars, only going to be 15. So if you give 25, it'll be 20. Um, but if you're any people around the world, um, you want to help out some really cool people here in this country, here in New Zealand. Show your support. And thanks for watching on the channel. And thanks again, guys. You guys are awesome. Cheers. Bye.